Aloha and welcome to Restaurants Hawaii on Think Tech Hawaii. I am your host, Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of Hawaii Restaurant Association. And today I have two special guests. I'd like to introduce the ladies. Ladies, I'm going to introduce you and if you could tell us a little bit about yourself. The first lady is Sherry Yuen. Sherry, you want to introduce yourself? Oh, hi, yes. Good afternoon. I'm Shri Yuen. Um, I'm newly on board with Waihata. I am the Broadline Sales Manager. So me, that means that we uh, service and handle all the street accounts or our Broadline accounts. Um, but of course, as many of you know, we, we handle all types of customers. And um, I'm excited to be on the show today to share a bit about what we've been um, going through and, and also what we've accomplished thus far as a company that's been in business about 108 years. So um, that's, that's about it. I'm excited to be here today. Thank you so much. And I'd like to also introduce Christina. Hi, Christina. Hi. Hello, uh, my name is Christina Lee and the director of the Hata Cares program at Waihata. And I'm also really excited to be here and to share more about our company and all the great things that we're doing. So thank you. Thank you, ladies. Hawaii Restaurant Association's Hall of Fame is quickly approaching Monday, February 28th. And we are grateful for Wai Hata, who is our this year's Hall of Fame presenting sponsor. So this year, HRA and, Ho and Waihata will be paying tribute to our pandemic champions and industry advocates. And these honorees have demonstrated exemplary dedication during the pandemic in various capacities. So I did my homework, ladies, and I found out that in 2009, 13 years ago, Waihata received the honor of being inducted into the HRA's Hall of Fame. So it's just so fitting that this year in 2022, that um, Waihata is the presenting sponsor, paying tribute to our pandemic champions and to our industry associates. So maybe Sherry, you could help me, you know, why is the Hall of Fame important? So the Hall of Fame, as you know, recognizes industry leaders. So why was it important and, and meaningful to Waihata to, um, when they received their induction into the Hall of Fame. What did it mean to Waihata? So what it meant to Waihata, first of all, just um, knowing that we're coming out of this pandemic and trying to get back to some kind of normalcy, it's exciting to, you know, re-enter our industry and, and our operations and whatnot with, with a big bang. So for us to uh, sponsor this year is super exciting for us. In 2009, um, it was such an honor to be an inductee and to have shared that accomplishment along with a lot of successful restaurateurs here in Hawaii. Um, we play, we feel that we play such a vital role um, in feeding Hawaii as part of Hawaii's food chain. And um, we service our Department of Education, so our Keiki Oka Aina, or our children in Hawaii, um, and also all branches of military. And um, we're a locally owned and operated business. So that is such a highlight and such a great accomplishment for us. And we're proud to, to mention that. Um, we really love to get into our communities and help families in Hawaii, um, starting with our ohana or our staff here at Waihata and taking it outside into our general public. So um, we know that we're, we're part of Hawaii's food chain and it's gratifying to be recognized for our efforts and all of our hard work. And you just touched on something. I was gonna, I was gonna ask Christina. Christina, share with me a little bit about what is Hata Cares? Well, thank you so much for asking that. Hata Cares is about doing good every day. Um, during the pandemic, our Hata Cares team was first on the scene to help uh, prepare meals and take them out to first responders, uh, to participate in food distribution um, to all of those in need and to uh, donate food to various uh, nonprofit com companies uh, to help support Hawaii's food chain uh, and food industry. And now, along with all of that good work, uh, the Hata Cares 
team is also looking at ways to develop, ways to improve from within. So our Hot to Cares program is our dedication and focus to enhancing Hawaii's food industry, starting with our employees, our ohana. And great, we feel that great service um, starts with happy employees. So we've made it one of our key focuses to um, focus on culture and process improvement um, and enhance our employee experience. Uh, so this in turn is that ripple effect of creating happier employees, which makes greater productivity and provides excellent levels of service and the community as a whole wins. So we're extremely uh, proud to say that we're kind of in the business, uh, our Hot to Care team is in the business of spreading joy and happiness while making things more efficient. I love that. Oh my goodness. And no wonder that, you know, why Hata has been in business since 1903, 108 years, ladies, that's incredible. And that they can still support the industry, our food service industry, by being this year's Hall of Fame presenter. You know, I had to look it up, ladies, um, you know, um, Russell and I, we went public school, yeah? So what is epitome? What does it mean? And I looked it up in the English dictionary and it says that a person, a thing or a business that is emphasizing and being the best possible example of it. And that's exactly why Hata. So at the Hall of Fame, it is all about the awards and I'll go through the list of all of the inductees that are this year but it's also about the food and it's our 14th annual Hall of Fame. So we have 14 chefs of Aloha. So I was gonna ask um, Sherry, if you could please, or Christina, it doesn't matter. Please share with the viewers a little bit about um, Chef Chris and what his dish is, because as I mentioned earlier, I can't pronounce it, but it sounds so <laughs> yummy. <laughs> I can take this one. <laughs> so I have a little script to read, though, because it is quite, uh, it's, it's a long description of, of one dish. So um, that evening, we will be preparing and serving uh, a creation of Chef Chris Blanc. It's a shichimi crusted kua aina ranch flat iron steak uh, with pickled honshimeji mushrooms. Mari's Garden Greens in a sesame vinaigrette with crispy shallot, shallots and a yuzu ponzu brown butter. Oh, that's a long description, but it sounds really good. Um, so the inspiration behind Chef Chris's Chris's dish, um, of course, being locally sourced and sustain using sustainable products. Um, we are sourcing our beef for that evening from Kua'aina Ranch on the west side of the Garden Isle, uh, Isle of Kauai and under the ownership of Jehi Fuller. And of course, our beautiful greens from Maui, Maui's Gardens, uh, found locally right here in Mililani under uh, the owner Fred Lau, and we're a big supporter of Hawaii Agricultural Foundation, HAF, which is a nonprofit organization, and they're created, they were created to kind of promote and, um, and support Hawaii's farmers and agriculture, and their mission is to support and sustain um, all our products that we grow here in Hawaii, which you know, I know a lot of local farmers and local chefs have really uh, got behind this to promote from within and promote from our islands and sourcing products from our islands. And um, needless to say that the flavors incorporated into this dish is probably Chef Chris Blanc's favorite flavors. Um, and of course, all our products you can find here at our local uh, Chef Zone. I love Chef Zone. I, you have to know when my husband goes there, it's the boiled peanuts. There's like four bags of boiled peanuts and it's just me and my husband. Four bags of boiled peanuts automatically every time we go to Chef Zone. And so thank you for that. And that's the reason why, you know, why Hata supports the community. And that's the reason why they have been inducted into the Hall of Fame because of all the support, the community support here in the Hawaiian Islands that why Hata does. And our nominations for the inductees are submitted by our food industry peers. So ladies, you know, I'm hoping next year that you all will also nominate people from our industry. The nominator must submit a detailed statement on why they are nominating that person or business into the Hawaii Restaurant Association Hall of Fame. And then the selection committee 
they have to go through the rigorous process of, you know, reading all of the ballots and then selecting. So this year we have 10 and I'd like to read off the name. So it is Denise, Yama, Denise Hayashi Yamaguchi, my dear friend, Victor Lim, who is amazing. I call him the Energizer Bunny. Greg Maples, who is my knight in shining armor on a white horse. Mark and Amanda Noguchi, who's done so much for our community. Ryan Tanaka, who is just brilliant. Gwen Yamamoto Lau, who has a heart so big. Sherry Menor McNamara, who is my dear, dear friend. And Representative Sylvia Luke, who if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have had the Hawaii restaurant card. So those are the this year's 10 inductees. And we're excited and, and it's an honor to induct them into our Hall of Fame. Um, there's so many other achievements that they've done. I just kind of touched on a few. And there are so many other people that are still out there because we are still coming at the end of our endemic. There's still so many people out there that are still helping our food service industry. So to our members and our viewers who are watching, please next year, you know, nominate the person or the business who has really helped our industry because that's what we really need. Um, so this year, our, our Hall of Fame is on Monday, the 28th. And if anybody's interested in um, getting tickets, all they have to do is go to our website, hawaiirestaurant.org, and tickets are still available. So ladies, I don't want to close yet. There is still lots to talk about, but I just wanted to ask you if there's anything, um, Jerry, that you wanted to discuss that I haven't touched on. Um, I think... What I did forget is just a little background on our chef. We have to, we have to thank him because he's gonna, you know, he's gonna be showcased that evening along with his dish. So um, he was originally born and raised actually in Phoenix, Arizona, and um, he's cooked professionally over twenty three plus years, all over nationwide in different states. Um, he's I'm sure have, he's planned many of menus and designed a lot of kitchens. Um, he's worked for a lot of uh, James Beard award-winning chefs and celebrity chefs. And he actually was with the BLT concept. So he helped to open a few of their stores, um, including Trump Tower um, as an executive chef, a uh, sous chef, I'm sorry. And then he moved to Hawaii and married a local girl, but uh, he moved to Hawaii to open up the beach house in Haleiwa and also worked a few years at Michelle's at the Colony Surf in Waikiki, which is a nostalgic spot for uh, many of the residents and what we know. And so we're super proud of him. Um, and I am sure that we will all enjoy his dish that evening. So we're excited for him. And the secret is he married a local girl. So that he married a local girl. So he's not going anywhere, lady. <laughs> <laughs> local girl going to me, right? <laughs> Christina, is there anything else? Because there, you know, we can still chat chat about the Hall of Fame, or we can chat about Waihata. Is there anything that I missed? Um. You know, I, I just want to share that. Um, you know, as we all know, the pandemic has created such a challenging landscape for the food service industry. And so we're just really grateful to be able to give back after we've kind of weathered that storm. And um, so, you know, being part of this sponsorship and, and being part of such an amazing event is really exciting for us because we feel that, um, you know, as a locally owned business, uh, it's important for us to give back to that industry that has allowed us to be part of the community. So. Um, for so many years, it, we, we're so grateful. And we know that a lot of the, of the restaurants and our dear friends have suffered through that pandemic. So it's our hope that this event provides a little bit of light and hope and excitement um, for what's on the horizon as we all get through this together. That's very nice. And um, one of the other topics that I wanted you to share was a little bit about Waihata's philosophy, because I know it comes from the top. I know it comes from Russell. And so he's done so much for the community and he's done so much, you know, to keep this business going for all these years. It's like, it's so impressive. Do you want to share a little bit about some of Russell's philosophy and the core values of Waihata? 
Uh, yeah, I wish, I don't know if you guys can see our core values behind, <laughs> behind us, but uh, they're partners first, continuous improvement, Ohana empowerment, Ohana pride, candid communication, live aloha and give aloha. And uh, you know, some of the ways that we show that or bring that to life, uh, during 2020 and 2021, Waihata donated um, about half a million pounds of food to various charities. Uh, we also partnered with HRA and the Hawaii Food Bank, as well as the, as well as the city and county of Honolulu and the Great Aloha Run to distribute over 3,000 turkeys to unemployed food service industry workers. Uh, we also worked with chefs to put together curated chef boxes so that the community could have access to these deluxe meals during the shutdown when they couldn't go out to eat. Um, and we prepared meals again for first responders to uh, thank them for all of their dedication and hard work to the community. And um, we also started uh, Ohana Meals within our own company. We, we know that we have a lot of frontline workers that could not stay at home and needed to come to work to continue with that food chain, uh, keep that food chain going. So we want to make sure that we took care of them as well. So uh, it's really important for us to take care of um, our Ohana, our employees, as well as our community. Uh, so that's you know, a huge part of our philosophy. That's so awesome. Yes, you're right. We were there doing the food box distribution on a Sunday out there at your location. And to see all these cars come through and people so grateful, so grateful for free food boxes. It was awesome. So ladies, I'm going to read the rest of the chefs that are going to be providing the food um, on, at the night of Hall of Fame, but I'm going to read it and I'm going to have the list here because I don't want to miss anybody. And later on, oh my goodness, I missed someone. So yes, you're right. Number one is Waihata with Chef Chris. We also have um, Pounders, who is Chef Graham Elliott. We have Chai himself, who will be presenting his dish. Uh, we also have the Sheraton, um, Chef Matt, Mad Benet, Chef Ban Chao. Bao Tran, Dukes and Hula Grill, Chef Drew Crocker, Cohio Avenue Food Hall, Chef Mario Lopez, Kapahale, Chef and Owner Keakali, 53 by the Sea, Chef Kavika, and Shorefire. And we also have um, some desserts. El Gelato will be making their gelato. Um, we have um, Hawaii, um, Hawaiian pie, and we also have the Sheraton making some yummy um, lavender panna cotta. So I don't know if I said Outback in there because I now see Outback is staring at me. So we do have, like I said, it's our 14th year. We have 14 chefs and it's going to be a great event. Part of the fun of the event that night is that we will be having um, some auction items. We'll be having, of course, the whole dine around. We have a lot of beverages that will be there. So we're looking forward to another night to just celebrate, ladies, just to get together. It's been so long, right, that we've gotten together and it's been so long that we've gathered. So we're looking forward to a great event. Um, Let's see, what did I miss ladies? I'm gonna go back now to Sherry. I see here, I think I've asked all of the topics that we were talking about. Did I miss anything else? Oh, the locations. I wanted you to cover the locations where Waihata covers on all the neighbor islands. Okay, great. Um, we are actually on the island of Kauai and um, also the big island, um, the original, uh, Waihata brand started out of little Hilo, Hawaii. So we're super excited um, how our company has grown. Um, we have also some presence uh, through a third, third party on the island of Maui as well. But we're looking for, forward to um, expansion, you know, in the upcoming years. Um, as our ohana here at Waihata is growing, uh, you know, Russell really believes also in, in work opportunity and job opportunities for our locals, um, supporting even our college students, right, for future, future leaders in Hawaii. So supporting our schools and our, our um, culinary program at KCC. Um, so he's a strong advocate of, of growing Hawaii's people and giving back to the people. And we're 
I'm very honored to be a part of a company that really and truly believes in that um, because the, your, your, my employment or, or career is much more than that. It's, there's a purpose behind it. Um, and that's what I'm excited about. So um, we provide uh, tools for KCC culinary students as well. So um, yeah, and uh, statewide statewide DOE, statewide military, um, chain restaurants as well. So yeah, yes, a yes. lot of work of I, us. I was up at the um, Culinary Institute of the Pacific. Beautiful. And Beautiful. Russell, Russell's support up there is just amazing. I also was going to ask um, Jerry to mention about charity days. Um, as you know, the Hawaii Restaurant Association has our um, Hawaii, Regist Hawaii Restaurant Association's Educational Foundation. It's a mouthful. So we call it the HRA Educational Foundation. And um, Waihata is going to be, I mean, Chef Zone is going to be allowing us to come down and participate in a charity day. Do you want to cover a little bit about that, ladies, one of you? Maybe being a, being a supporter of it, um, you know, in addition to that also, um, I forgot to mention, this is a super exciting time for us as well, but we also uh, were a part of uh, judging along with Aloon Farms, I believe it was, to uh, the high school culinary championship and program. So again, um, really being supportive behind um, Hawaii's education. You know, a lot of our uh, keiki go away to college, you know, so it's quite an exciting accomplishment when we can establish and get behind these programs or be advo advocates for these programs where the, the kids can stay home and learn and develop in, in their career path. So super exciting time for us and uh, to support that. It's again, such a greater purpose than, than just food service. Exactly, and what you what you're um, supporting also uh, with our HRA Educational Foundation is on our board is Chris Lee, and he's been a huge supporter. We have ten local high schools that have culinary programs, and these culinary programs are for juniors and seniors, and ladies. You know that's our future chefs. That's our future general managers in our restaurants. And so we really, really appreciate all of the support. The Educational Foundation has, um, like I said, 10 and one on Maui and one in Kohala. And we're looking to grow because we need those future restaurant employees in our restaurants and in our hotels and anything in our food service industry. So ladies, he's giving me the five minute warning. Is there anything that I missed that we have not discussed? Cheryl, I just wanted to say huge congratulations to all of the inductees and to you as well. So, you know, thank you to you and your team um, at the Hawaii Restaurant Association. Uh, you guys have been a leader and a voice for the restaurants of Hawaii, uh, especially during this challenging time. So really a big shout out to you and all of the inductees that have you know, brought the industry through these these tough times. And, and we have a great um, executive committee and a great board. You got to know it's it takes a village, right? Well, this, it takes like an army mm -hmm. to get through a pandemic. So again, everyone, Cheryl Matsuoka, the executive director for Hawaii Restaurant Association, our annual 14th annual Hall of Fame is Monday the 28th at the Sheraton. For ticket information, go to our website, which is hawaiirestaurant.org. And we're paying tribute this year to our pandemic champions and our industry advocates. And again, Hawaii Restaurant Association is the voice of Hawaii's restaurants and food service industry. Thank you, and we'll see everyone on Monday night.